And that's Karina Kapoor. So what did we think our thoughts on the crew, guys? Emily, we'll start with you and then we'll just go around. I mean, I love a good, like, a chick flick girl mm-hmm. fun moment. It's been a little bit since I've watched, like, a heist kind of movie, too. Right. So it was fun to see how they kind of did it in their own way as novices. But then at the end, they kind of seemed more skilled. And they each, right. like use their own life experiences to shine in their own way even though it was like imperfect and it had us being like would this actually happen or how like (laughs) like realistically this movie like isn't very realistic but right I loved all three of our main actresses I thought they were all so goofy and like captivating and I thought they sold their own performances really well. I think it's just like some of the writing was a little bit more confusing at times, but overall mm-hmm. I really liked it. I thought it was fun and I really liked all of our characters a lot. True. True. Jaylee. Yeah. I'd have to agree with a lot of that. Um, I liked the, the air hostess mm-hmm. stuff. I feel like that was a fun, like unique job to really focus mm-hmm. on. I could very much relate to them, like working a full time job, but still not having enough money to like get by. Yeah. Um, that's tough. I mean, they're very different in their situation since their boss and CEO was uh, very crooked. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that gave like good reasoning as to why they did what they did. Um, mm-hmm. I kind of agree that the the writing could have been better, and it was very convenient that they suddenly became master spies, <laughs> <laughs> and they like all had made outfits just like on hand, um, really prepared. But it's one of those movies that you go into and like don't, yeah, don't expect to think too much. Just like just right. like let it happen. <laughs> Um, it was cute. Like Emily said, I loved the three actresses. The yeah. the leads were all really, really amazing. Even all the supporting actresses. I want to shout out to, mm-hmm. I'm not sure her name, but the actress who played like the main security lady who was like, really yeah, yeah, she was cool. Them. I liked her. I, I, I think she did a great job. She, she knew the whole time, you know, and yeah. no one listened to her. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was a fun movie. Yeah, no, I, I agree with both of you. Like, I, I feel like the the casting was on point. I feel mm-hmm. having these three women, um, even though technically it wasn't like laugh out loud comedy, I, I do feel the chemistry between them was really good. So you I kind agree. of enjoyed their interactions. You enjoyed them. Like, you just enjoyed seeing them on screen bonding. I think that yeah. was sort of nice to see. And of course, like just picking the airlines as a profession, getting into like the life of an air mm-hmm. hostess, they had a lot of montages of the sort of tedious things they have to do and of course, with the backdrop or the context of their them not getting paid, so the frustrations that come with it. So that mm-hmm. was very real. I do love the first half, even how they got involved, because that seems believable to me. Like you're mm-hmm. stumbling upon something, some illegal smuggling going on, and you're like, I want mm-hmm. in because we need the money. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was yeah, very yeah, good. I agree with you. Them. Yeah, so the first half was like, I think you could believe them. And and I mean, the fact that they thought of this whole idea of like coming up with like chocolate and all and on their own was a little unbelievable. Yeah. But that aside, everything else, I was like, okay, I get it. You girls are just kind of the middlemen. But then mm-hmm. the second half, I don't know what happened to the two writers. And I was looking up their names and maybe I shouldn't give them a shout out here because I don't want to like really be too critical. But there are two female writers who did this script. And I think somewhere the second half, I don't know if they were in a rush to finish it but I just feel it was so confusing like their revenge plan to kind of get at this big CEO who was scamming them which is based I think on Vijay Malia a real life character who had an airlines and guys if you can let us know the name of the airlines I don't remember but he actually fleed the country because he was being investigated and took a lot of his money so a lot of uh illegal shit happening with him so it was based on him Mm -hmm. I think uh but yeah like I would say, you know what's interesting? Seeing the entirety of the film, the second sort of plan C that they had, because they had like a plan to go into the the hotel while the marriage was going on. Like that was ludicrous. Like there's no way you could believe that these women are pulling this off and suddenly having yeah. like these skills, like IT skills to like sabotage yeah. cameras, 
suddenly getting into parties and managing to become a maid in the executive. Like all of that was ludicrous, but, and also following people around in a cab in full view. Oh, which is so obviously. Yeah, yeah. they're amazing yeah. outfits. So that like, I don't know what, 40 minutes or 30 minutes of the film, I was like, can we just scrap that? Like somebody mm-hmm. should have gone through it and gone like this idea is, is whack. But the part mm-hmm. where they were impersonating other air hostesses for a private plane, that could have been the big thing where they could have yeah. planned it because yeah. they are air hostesses and they, they have the guy, like they managed to get the manager to help them. So if they had shown like the manager being like, oh, he's flying out of the country, this is your chance. And then they come in. I mean, it would be nice to see somebody else helping them with like tying everybody up, but whatever. The three of them did it, managed to land it, get it out. Like that part actually was not too bad. I mm-hmm. was more sold on the final half section of the thing where I was like, why couldn't this be the writing in the, anyway. Okay. So that's just me, the writer coming in guys. I'm sorry. I'm being a bit critical just because I kind of have to come up with stories with my books and also somehow the writing. And I do feel the women, like you guys were saying, the cast did full justice to their parts. Mm-hmm. They wanted to make it so believable. So it really frustrates me when actors have the burden of a bad script. Because it's like, you know that they're doing their best. This is not on them. But it's just like, when you're looking at it, you're like, couldn't this be a little bit more? Like, I mean, I would get if this is a fantasy or it's like a parallel universe, but this is not the theme. So yeah, Mm -hmm. that is my biggest criticism of the film. And if other people have had reviews that are similar, please let us know in the comments below. But casting was amazing. I enjoyed the songs. Fashion was wonderful in this film like I mean it was like these women were giving us so many different outfits I was like whoever yeah. was in charge of wardrobe <laughs> you know had a field day because you had mm-hmm. ladies and dressing and they all had a distinct style too right I think some of you you know I think I don't know what Julia or I think one of you mentioned that right like they all had their own unique yeah. style that they kind of had so yeah, I think overall this is a fun movie. I, I do feel it's a one-time watch. I will not be repeating it again, most likely. Yeah. But, uh, but it was fun watching it with you guys. I feel we mm-hmm. kind of enjoyed the... We watched Crew. We watched with the our Crew. crew. Our crew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, guys, to be honest with you, tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you're going to get a reaction from three ladies watching a film with three superstars, uh, female superstars in India. So, if, you know, so I think we have it perfect here hopefully you enjoyed our reaction any final thoughts girls before we wrap wow i mean i agree with you the the i loved all the air hostess stuff and then like the secret spy stuff was just like a little out of pocket it was like yeah come on (laughs) but yeah it was was fun like a like a good not like you don't have to think about it too hard just enjoy it yeah Enjoy it for the for the humor for the for the bad bad girlies. You know what I would do though? Things. Like this this is the where like me as an editor, if I was an editor, I would just snip out those forty minutes and make a shorter film. But like True. just make it more. I mean, so I think you could they just totally could have made that last part longer and then just yeah. cut the hotel stuff. Absolutely. Oh, I did like how they they kind of Robin Hooded it and they did give back. To yeah, true. Their hostess and the other people who were struggling. I mean, I liked that they did that. Not enough. Like they had suitcases. <laughs> they gave oh, out, no, like, they had suitcases full of gold, and they gave that one lady with the like, sun two, two balls. Of gold. And her brother is still like, uh, like an alcoholic, and yeah. kicked out. Like, I guess they, they could have like, done better, but they did something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They were like, you know, you have some money. The rest is on you. We had to carry out. I mean, I could get it. They had to do the brunt of all this yeah, elaborate planning, plotting. So I still, I still don't get how the customs officer suddenly had a change of heart and helped. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, and he just comes around. Much. Yeah, and he's all like, "Okay, now you're gonna what? Like, we're gonna get it on." So I have to be a like nicer about your crazy plan, because like, I mean, he wasn't. He was all like, he was all moralistic on her. Like, who? Mm-hmm. Where is the girl who kind of fought? With, and I'm like, now you're okay that you robbed this rich guy who's an asshole and brings in a suitcase yeah. ton of like gold. I I also well, would have really they- liked for her to go back to school, mm-hmm. like. She, like, like oh, yeah. she is still just gonna be like, she's just gonna lie her entire life. Like, I would have liked either for her to, to admit to her parents that not that didn't happen, or yeah. for her to actually go to school. But yeah, like, like a little bit more follow up with each character. I like, kind of, 
I agree. Like, I feel like they were so focused on the main theme of this trying to rob this guy and the airlines and everything that that, that the the women and their backstories kind of took a backseat, I feel. Mm -hmm. And they could have invested some of that 40 minutes that was really ludicrous heisting yeah. uh, would could have just gone into like confessing to the parents and I don't know working out with your husband or I don't know you know Karina Kapoor's character who is the one who was like I don't know Jasmine like she finding some I don't know solace with her grandfather being gone but anyway yeah, um, yeah they I, I agree with you they could have focused on that more they did say in like the news thing at the end that India got its gold back so it made me wonder if they like donated the gold it wasn't completely clear what happened to yeah, all of them. I didn't hear that. But what? the news the newscaster said India got its gold back. So it's like what, what I think happened is they had tons of suitcases. They took three and left. Mm. And so they have enough money for themselves and to kind of give back to people that they know. But then mm-hmm. most of the suitcases got raided, so India got most of its gold back, if that makes sense. But I don't Oh, know. okay, okay. But they there was more than just the three on the yeah, it makes sense. I'm guessing. Yeah. But yeah. also like why were there why were there suitcases that were just like empty like that in the hotel? <laughs> yeah. Like did someone else steal the money or was that just like like <laughs> they just left it there for them to be just for a gag. <laughs> like, yeah. Just, just like, amazing. Just, like, just, like, all laid out nicely. <laughs> Yeah. And also, yeah. I think Rima, you said you were like, wait, they turned their gold into balls too. <laughs> <laughs> I know you we were like, you're inspired. That was original idea. idea. Like, yeah. It's easier to give out little balls than it is blocks of gold. I guess. I guess it's a little too generous. I don't know, but that is also weird. Yeah. You know what frustrates me, and I'll say this out loud, and guys, don't be too hard <laughs> for me talking too much here, but I just feel like. What bothers me is that all of us are creatives here. Like, you know, I mean, I've tried to pitch my scripts to different production studios. I mean, these girls have been working on films, movies, projects. It just always surprises me when you have so much money at stake, how sometimes writing that doesn't make full logical Mm -hmm. sense kind of goes through and becomes a movie. Because I'm just like, there must be so many checks where you could be like, can you fix this? Can you update this? Like I would probably, but anyway. Uh, nonetheless, that's just how, you know, some movies are made, but it's a fun one-time watch. I would recommend it for the performances and the original idea. Let's just hope that they do better Mm -hmm. next time. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed our reaction. Of course, you can follow Emily, Jaylee, myself, social media links down below. Watch the full unedited crew reaction on Patreon. And yeah, we will see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.